This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, leader of online cybersecurity education. Join more than 10,000 professionals from over 120 countries to learn security online. I'm Justin from Pentester Academy TV and I want to welcome you back to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest open source tools. Add them to your tool collection today. Let's take a look at AutoWaps by Thomas from GovTech Singapore. Hello, my name is Thomas and I have been working in GovTech for approximately close to two and a half years. I'm very grateful today to have Pentester Academy for this interview session. Just a quick introduction about GovTech Cybersecurity Group. In short, CSG is the cybersecurity lead for the government sector and our responsibility is to secure government ICT and smart system. My role in CSG is to perform security testing services for our government agencies' applications. This is done usually through uh, penetration testing and adversary simulation, also known as rig teaming. A little bit more about myself. My hobby is to learn more in the cybersecurity field, in particular mobile application security. I love to do bug hunting and also have a passion to develop products that will benefit the wider security community. To introduce this tool, we must first identify the problem behind modern day security testing. Security testing these days requires a defined process of comparing the state of the application against a set of criteria. The purpose is to identify possible loopholes and weaknesses which might result in data breaches. This is done via a penetration testing engagement. Next, I will share on the experience behind AutoWorks ideation. Firstly, I want to automate the identification of low-hanging vulnerabilities during the testing, hence reducing the overhead for pen testers to manually uncover them. At the end of the fieldwork, there is also a need to prepare an audit paper to ensure that relevant test cases are checked. However, there's a, there is a problem in this industry where the checklist may not be comprehensive and may vary across organizations. Lastly, I want to help new pen testers that is joining this industry by providing guidelines and automation tools to help them level up faster. So, AutoWaps is a Burp Suite extension that integrates Burp Issue Logging with AutoWaps Web Security Testing Guide, also known as WSTG. This tool aims to streamline web application security testing flow for modern day pen testers. Feature of AutoWaps include, firstly, a comprehensive guideline containing a framework of best practices that's used by penetration testers and organizations. Next, a logger feature that helps uh, to consolidate bug scanner issues, flagging insecure traffic from bug proxy, repeater, and intruder. Lastly, a report generation feature that maps the flag issues to WSDG checklists and populating them into an Excel file, providing an audit trail upon fieldwork completion. A general security testing flow with AutoWalk is as follows. Firstly, the pen tester will fetch the checklist for reference. Next, during the preparation phase, he or she can actually add the URL uh, to scope, listen to the bug scanner issues, and capture insecure uh, web requests and uh, response. During the fieldwork, the tester can also uh, map issues to the test cases while manually exploring for vulnerabilities. At the end of the fieldwork, uh, he, he or she can actually insert security observation and highlight evidence associated with the logs to prepare for documentation. Next, I will share with you a demonstration on AutoWorks. Firstly, on the top half of the extender, it contains various control of AutoWorks. Under Target, a user can provide a testing host URL to be added to Burp Target Scope and a button to fetch Burp Scanner issues and also a listener to capture any insecure request response traffic. Next, the status bar will reflect any ongoing action that the user is performing. Subsequently, we have checklist controls where a user can fetch the checklist online or load a local checklist and also the ability to generate a checklist into an Excel report. Lastly, the miscellaneous controls includes the deletion of issue entry or any affected URL instances and the ability for a user to save and load the AutoWorks project. On the lower half of the extender, we have two existing features of AutoWorks, checklist and logger. 
In Checklist, a user can fetch WSDG Checklist, which will provide guidance to security tester with useful information such as a summary of an individual test case, how to conduct the test case itself, and also a reference to the full article on OOPS GitHub. In Logger, this tool will give the security tester the ability to extract and consolidate burp scanner issues. This feature will also automate by listening and flagging insecure traffic requests and response. Lastly, these vulnerable issues can be mapped back to WSDG checklist. To load the checklist, a user can click Fetch a checklist button to pull the latest copy of OWAP's WSDG online. Do note that this process might take a few minutes to load. Alternatively, a user can also load a pre-prepared local checklist to start your security assessment work. Each individual test case contains a high-level summary of the test cases itself, a detailed explanation of the test case, and also relevant tools that can be applied during the test, and also a an reference article linking to the GitHub page. Should you find any test cases might not be applicable to your test scenario, you may opt to exclude them. To load the checklist, a user can click Fetch checklist button to pull the latest copy of OWAP's WSTG online. Do note that this process might take a few minutes to load. Alternatively, a user can also load a pre-prepared local checklist to start your security assessment work. Each individual test case contains a high-level summary of the test cases itself, a detailed explanation of the test case, and also relevant tools that can be applied during the test, and also a an reference article linking to the GitHub page. Should you find any test cases might not be applicable to your test scenario, you may opt to exclude them. To start the test, the user can input the URL into Burp Suite's target scope Clicking the Burp Scanner login will start the PSC scanner on the targeted URL. In addition, it will consolidate by grouping similar issues flagged by Burp Scanner into one vulnerable finding. Next in Logger feature, while the tester manually explores the web application, AutoWaps will also listen and flag for insecure vulnerable request response traffic. The security tester can also flag and send of vulnerable issues from Burp Proxy, Repeater, Intruder into AutoOps. Here are some examples. In our first example, the DVWA web application is found to have a potential command injection vulnerability. The application will prompt the user to input an IP address. In this case, we are trying to send a ping to our own local host. Using Burp Proxy, we can actually intercept the request and inject an additional command trying to display the slash etc slash password file. Let's encode the payload. We will then forward the request. Looking at the response, we can identify that the slash etc slash password file is actually written in our response. We can then right-click on the vulnerable response and forward to AutoOps. In our second example, we are taking a look at a potential brute force vulnerability on the VWA web application. We can simply just right-click, send the request to Repeater, and try to guess the potential password to access the admin portal. In this case, we managed to identify the password is simply just a password. And looking at the response, we are granted uh, to a password protected uh, area. Again, we can just right click, send the vulnerable repeater information into AutoWorks.
In addition, AutoOps allows the user to actually input any security observation found during the field work. In this case, we are writing that the web application is vulnerable to command injection vulnerability. Click on the Save Command button to capture your observation. One of the features of AutoOps is the ability to map vulnerable findings to the checklist. Click on the Map to OOPS WSDG field on the right side of the table entry. You'll be able to choose a specific test case to map the vulnerable finding using the drop down list. In my first example, I will map unencrypted communication to WSDG configuration 7. I will then map the guessable password sent from Burp Repeater to WSDG Authentication 02. Lastly, I will map the command injection vulnerability into WSDG Input Validation 12. At the end of the engagement, it is important for a pen tester to generate a completed checklist for audit trail. In this case, Otoak has the ability to populate vulnerable findings into an Excel report. Click on the Generate Excel File button and choose the allocation to save the file to. Open the Excel file and you find the observation, comments and evidence being saved beside the associated test case. The security tester may also find the URL pointing to the full article on OOP's checklist repository for every test case in the checklist. Okay, that's the demonstration on AutoWorks. So the next question is, where can you obtain AutoWorks? Firstly, you can download the release jar from our GitHub page at go.gov.sg slash autoops jar. Alternatively, if you are using WebSuite Pro, you can download the extender directly under the extender tab, Web Store AutoWorks. Okay, thank you Thomas so much for your great demo. So I only do have one question. Are there any aspects in the tool um, graph that you would like the community to contribute to? Thank you, Justin, for your question. We definitely want to make AutoOps better, and we welcome developers to join the AutoOps community to make this tool even, useful, even more useful. Uh, there's certain features in our pipeline we are looking at. Firstly, is to add more comprehensive automated test cases. Also, we are looking into building an additional feature where we can test API uh, testing. Lastly, we also want to improve our report generation format to include HTML report. So head to go.gov.sg slash autoops to find out more. Awesome. Thank you again, Thomas, for coming on board this episode of our toolbox. And we hope to see you again in another episode of Fantastic Academy TV. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on this tool, see our description box below. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next episode of The Toolbox.